We communicated directly with patients and families. We were extremely sensitive in the hospitals to make sure we got it right. Access to safe, legal abortion care is the cornerstone of public health. And in New York City, it would always be. Beginning this week, people in New York City seeking abortion care will be able to speak to a New York State health care professional by video or by phone. When we make abortion care more accessible, we empower individuals to make the best decisions for themselves, their families, and their futures. It took 110 mayors before we finally would raise the flag of the Nigerian people here in Bowling Green. When people talk about reimagining schools, they don't focus on the power of food. You don't see it over the long term. The kids' lives are going to be better, they're going to be healthier. Our goal here is to be as transparent as possible. We want you to know the job that this team is doing every single day. We're going to embrace freedom to read. We will not allow censorship in New York City. Two days after the recent storm we had, you're staying on dry ground. The water has gone away, but we are not going away. We saw a community suffering. We figured out what can we do quickly. This was an answer. We are pulling off now to head to Mexico to speak with our leaders there and to really start the process of understanding city and throughout the entire country. We are preparing for periods of potentially heavy rain from around 2 a.m. tonight through Saturday afternoon. We strongly urge all New Yorkers to take safety measures seriously. The Flash Flood Emergency Steering Committee is planning, executing, and overseeing the tasks required to address this weather threat.